Hello again, indie game fans, or if it's your first time here at the channel, welcome. I'm Old Gamer Joe here with another review. Today, we're looking at Rive on the Nintendo Switch, available as of January 15th of 2021. This one's normally priced at $9.99, but there is a bit of a pre order discount that brings it down to $7.49. It's an arcade action first person shooter that comes from developer and publisher Mission Control Studios. There's a fun little side story I want to mention to this one. The developers told me that they actually created this game to celebrate their engagement in Thailand. So Thomas and Jody, congratulations. We hope you have a wonderful life together. But what a strange game to bond over, I have to say. But hey, I'm not judging. If only love was as simplistic as the gameplay is in Rive. I'm not going to go too deep into the story of Rive, just based on the fact that a lot of the fun is actually unlocking the story, which is done by spending the currency that you'll earn on each run. But the core concept here is that giant worms are after you, they're trying to kill you, and it's up to you to survive for as long as possible. Rive features three maps in total, Rundown, Jungle, and Factory. Most of them are small in design, which makes sense when you figure out what this game is all about. You're on the run, you have two different guns that you can use, including a shotgun and a plasma gun, and you just want to get a higher and higher score, which is done by surviving. Nothing more, nothing less. These worms are pretty relentless, so you'll have to carefully rely on both your aiming and your platforming skills if you stand any chance. As you are playing, a timer will rise, and the longer that you last, the higher you'll rank on the leaderboards. The controls for the most part are pretty responsive here. I found that the platforming and aiming worked well, and you really didn't have to worry about too many controls just because of the fact that there's really no weapon switching or anything like that. It's just aim, shoot, and dodge. That's pretty much all there is to it. It is fun and somewhat addicting for a little bit of time until you realize that you're stuck on the same three maps over and over again, you're stuck with the same weapons, and it gets a bit stale if I'm being real. There's really not many different enemy types for you to be concerned with here, and that could also be viewed as a little bit disappointing, but I will say at least some of these worms look different from one another and die in more glorious fashions than others. But on the whole, the action is fun and frantic for a little bit of time, just don't expect much longevity or gameplay variety. Graphically, Rive is a decent looking callback to first person shooters of the past, I would say. It is a pretty simplistic looking game with a lot of repeated assets and enemy varieties like I mentioned earlier, but I did enjoy messing around with the filters. I found that the retro was my personal favorite, but there is also a CRT filter, or if you want a more smoothed out experience, you can stick with the modern. Another nice little touch to the presentation of Rive is the fact that there's a performance mode, if you so wish, that will boost the performance of this game up to 60 frames per second, and I ended up enjoying playing that way quite a bit, as I suspect many of you will. In a first-person shooter game, it is important to have that fluid gameplay after all, but it's nice to have the option if for whatever reason you prefer graphical fidelity. I will say that the electronic or industrial infused soundtrack is nothing special here, I wasn't a big fan of it, and it's overshadowed anyways by the loud bullet sounds, I'm not even sure if you can adjust these or not, but I didn't really care because the music just kind of drifted off in the background for me, I wasn't a big fan of the soundtrack on a whole, and the whole sound presentation is a little bit on the generic side. On the whole, the graphics aren't half bad in Rive, and the performance mode is great, but the sound design leaves a little bit to be desired. Rive is a game that shows off a young developer's talents in a lot of cool ways, but it feels more like the mode to a bigger game that doesn't exist, unfortunately. The gameplay does ultimately wear thin and get a little bit stale, but I have to credit this developer. They have a whole lot of talent, and I would love to see them make a full fleshed out first person shooter campaign, and then have a mode like is featured in Rive to support that game. As it stands though, Rive is what it is, a short, fun diversion that it's a neat little experiment to mess around with, but don't expect any long term joy from it. So what do you think, first-person shooter fans? Will you be playing Rive? Let us know in the comments section below, and if you have enjoyed our video coverage today, consider hitting that subscribe button and that bell notification to keep up with all that we do here at iDream of Indie. However you end up supporting us, it means the world. There's a ton more ways to do so in the description box. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.